you know, tell you how to make your bar graph in uh, Excel. All right. Uh, so what I've done is uh, I've got my data here in this first column. In the second column, these are my class averages. So uh, yours are going to be different. This is just some sample data. And then my sites here. Now, I labeled this top row here Y, Y, X. And to make things a little bit easier for you, it's going to be helpful to have the Y axis in the first column, and then the second column is the uh, X axis. All right. Uh, you're going to select only numbers. Excel does not like words. Okay. Once you select that, you're going to go to Insert Chart at the top. And what we're going to, even though typically in class we'll call it a bar graph, uh, in the computer it's a column graph. So we're going to select uh, maybe this first choice here. Okay. And then it's going to make that for us looking nice. Now to make our lives a little easier, um, what we're going to do is uh, we're going to click on the outside. Don't click in this area. Click on the outside of the chart. We're going to hit hold down control, click, and then move chart. And we're going to say a new sheet. All right. Now it's on a separate sheet and we can uh, start labeling things. Now what I had wanted was I wanted my sites labeled one through eight on the bottom. And then my dissolve oxygen levels on the y-axis, okay? Um, now, what I want to make sure to do is, is name what we have here. So, under series, it's calling the blue ones here series one, okay? Now, just take a look what we have. Um, we want to make sure it's grabbing the right data. So, I'm going to click uh, in here, go up to uh, chart and source data. All right, so chart, source data, and then for series one, I'm going to tell it what I want it to be. So the Y values here, when I do that, it should click you back to the sheet. If it doesn't, you'll click over on the bottom. And again, why did I label this Y axis? So I know which one to grab. So I'm going to grab my class data first. I'm going to hit, so I highlighted that. It's hard to see on the screen, but I highlighted this column. Hit enter. Then my X axis, I click on that. I go under site here, okay, which was my X axis. So I highlighted the numbers in this column. All right, now I'm going to hit answer. Series 1, this was the uh, class data, I believe. So I'm just going to label, label it class. Now I could hit enter and kind of see how it looks. All right. Um, but uh, I'm going to go to series 2. Now my x-axis values are all the site numbers. So I'm just going to leave that as is, but I'm going to make sure it's grabbing the correct y values that I want. And then this is going to be my data. And so I'm going to grab this one here, so grab right here, hit enter, and I'm going to call this mine or my data, whatever you want to call it, and I think I'm good to go, all right? So just to double check that I grab the right information, I label it, the blue ones are called class, and my first two values are going to be six and then seven for the class data, so I'm going to check that going under the sheet, six and seven for class data. And the, yes, it is. Site, site uh, number one had a dissolve oxygen level of six, and number one had seven. So on my chart, I grabbed everything the right way. I'm going to go on my formatting palette here on the right hand side. If you're not viewing the formatting palette, then you want to go under View, and under Toolbox, you want to select it if you don't see it. Under Chart Title, I'm going to label this. So I want to label this either, you know, uh, Y versus X and the Y level are dissolved oxygen levels. I'm going to go dissolve oxygen. All right. And now I'll put in parentheses the units of PPM, part per million. The uh, horizontal axis were the sites. The uh, Y axis, the vertical, these are uh, dissolved. Dissolve oxygen. Actually, I messed up on the other one, PPM. My chart title actually should be Dissolve Oxygen versus Test Sites. So it's what I have on the Y axis versus the X axis. Okay. Um, and then um, after that, we're, I think we're pretty much done. We have our, you know, thinking about Telunk, we got our title, we labeled our axes, we got the numbers the units uh, for part per million here.